So if I was good, but I'm still drowning. Let mm. everybody up, but they still doubt me. Mm. Everything. My dad was like, Where you at, man? You ain't been in the studio. So he was my number one fan. When I heard the song, I said, It's hit. It's gone. People want to love it. It sounds passionate. Um, every girl want to be worth it. Said, oh, sorry, just up something that was profound. You invested in yourself. Yeah, I did. How do you know the best woman from the one who's just trying to leech onto you? What's up, about Waki Osiris? And listen here, I'm about to take y'all on a journey with Boniface Ogunti, the biggest podcast in the world. Stay tuned. Let's get it. So we got Osiris in the building. Yes, sir. So man, man, when you get started in the music industry? Mm, I was I was just turning 18. And when you was turning 18, what was the biggest check you got in the music industry? A million, a million dollars. And before that, you had nothing. I had nothing. And right. you got a million dollar deposit. A million dollar deposit right in my bank account. Oh, I think I had Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Yeah. How does that feel to get a million dollars deposited in your account? I man, it felt unreal to be honest. To be honest with you, when I first got the million, um, I went to Louis V, and, and I spent I spent like two thousand dollars before anything. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I got it. Yeah. <laughs> but it felt unreal. Like I had to check it like five hundred times. I had to like, is it really? I had to, I kept logging in back in, like logging in, logging in. I said, is this real? Do I got a, Do I really got a million dollars at eighteen in my bank account right now? And then it just felt, man. I was excited, man. I never had that type of money before, and um, I was, man. I was going through a lot. You know, and that, it just hit my account. It was like, I kept calling my accountant because they gave, they gave me my account. They gave me accountant. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I kept calling him. Is it there yet? Is it there yet? Is it there yet? Yeah. He said, check your account now and see if it's there. I check it. I said, it's there. It's there. Wow. So you had a million dollars deposit in your account at the age of 18. Man, that's a blessing. It is. You know, so I know you learned a lot from having a million dollars in your account. So what, how, how long did you blow that? I say like six months. Six months. So you was one of the lottery winners. <laughs> bro, it's crazy. Six months. Six months is, bro. Six crazy. months blowing a million dollars. What you spend that million dollars on? Like, what you spending on? First of all, first of all, I didn't think about taxes. Yeah. Million dollars ain't million dollars when you're in taxes, right? Yeah. So I won't think about the taxes. I was thinking about, I'm about to spend this whole million dollars. I'm yeah. about to spend the whole thing. I spent the whole thing. I, 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 um, I bought a, a car, a Corvette. Yeah. Um, um, I bought. I gave my mama um, a hundred thousand. Wow. Um, like one twenty. I gave her. I gave my dad a hundred thousand. Yeah. Um, that's like it, it's almost gone, bro. I, I had, I had, um, I had my house. I had got a big house. I was paying like ten thousand dollars a month. Nice. I'm on rent. <laughs> I didn't buy the house. I supposed well, to buy it, but I didn't. But, you didn't buy. Mm -mm. Um, I was just doing crazy stuff that wasn't making any type of sense. And it was just blowing, bro. And by the time you know it, I'm like, I looked at my account. I said, Mom, where the million dollars at? Like, it's really gone. Like, so, like, I know you learn a lot from that because from having a million dollars, spending a million dollars, and you've seen all the different things. Like, there's a lot of people that's watching who's going to make their first million, and they're probably going to do things that's going to make them lose that. Yes, so sir. what's some advice you have for those people, you know? Man, what I will say, invest, man. Like, you know, um... And it, it, it don't it don't gotta be the craziest things. Just invest the things that you feel like that you want to invest in, that, or or ask people around you. You yeah. know, and um, I say like like them like watches and diamonds, bro, and like stuff that depreciate is crazy. Like yeah, you know what I mean. Like and the number one thing I do learn is paying things cash. Yeah, I don't like stuff like I never I never like after the money being spent. Yeah. My my um, mentor always told me is like always. What is called OPM? Other people money. O other people money. Yeah. OPM. Um, that's the best thing to do. And now I saw it doing that, and I, it worked out a lot for me. So you got your credit right. My credit is eight hundred, almost <laughs> like seven, like seven, seven eighty nine. Nice. Like that. So it means you can get the bag out the banks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now you know how to use other people money. So you blew a million dollars, 
and then you're the person today that you know how to use. You learn from all your mistakes. Now you're becoming better, and you you got your first check when you was 18. You're not too old. You're how old are you now? I'm 23. 23. Yeah, I'm, I'm so you that's that's even really good because I think it's okay to blow a million dollars when you first started. Right. Like for you supposed to let that out the gate because then you know what to do next. Because if you haven't blown a million dollars, blown a lot of money, you're not gonna know. Even when you get 10 million dollars. You gonna blow ten million? Right. There's so many people out there that blow ten million dollars just like it's a hundred dollars. Right. They start buying a whole bunch of different things, and you learning that lesson at when you was eighteen years old. It's only gonna take you farther in life yes, because sir. now you learn that okay, I spent a million dollars. That ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. It could go fast. So now, when you moving forward in life, when you accumulate the wealth that you're about to accumulate, it's gonna be a lot easier. For you to accumulate those wealth and you're going to keep those wealth because you know what it is to be able to make it and lose it. Yes, sir. So let's get back. Let's get let's let's get to the conversation, man. So you blew a million dollars. Tell me, take me back, you know, take me back to when you was just a kid. You know, you started like 16 years old. Like, how did you get the whole music career? Like, how did what made you want to start that? Oh, um, Michael Jackson. Like, I love him a lot. And um, like watching his videos, watching every like um, I used to watch Billy Jean a lot. Wow. And I just I just saw how he was so passionate. It yeah. wasn't just about the singing, it was just how impactful he was to the world. And he wasn't thinking about himself, he was thinking about trying to cure the world. Yeah. And I was like, man, if I can do that, if, if my voice sound like that, because I know my voice ain't the best singing voice, mm -hmm. but if I can sound like that and I can sound, my voice could sound very impactful, I think it'll work. And I was just doing videos over and over again on YouTube and, um, and um um say cheese say cheese had reposted it oh nice and um um Drake he did and um it's just so many people had reposted it and showed love and it went it went up for them but I got six sisters I'm the only boy wow so um yeah I really man I I I I was I grew up around all women so wow. it's like I, like I love catering to the women yeah and I love and I love music Michael Jackson music so I say I got to put them two together wow you know what I mean so that's how I came up with worth it. Um, I made that song in like 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah. So I, I you wrote the song and everything. Yeah, I wrote the song, the whole song by myself. And um um I went with my last money, $200. The the, the session was like $200. Wow. And I went there, I did like five songs, and I did that last song worth it. You see, he's just said, oh, sorry, just up something that was profound. You invested in yourself. Yeah, you I spent two hundred dollars to get into the studio to record your hit song yeah. that changed your life. That made like fifteen million. That song made like fifteen million, man. And um, I went there. I went. I went. I did five songs, and I did that last song. And I said, I looked at my. I looked at my producer who made the beat. Yeah. Because I told him to put that guitar sound on it. The guitar yeah. you hear. I like. I wanted to hear if you put a guitar on. See how that. When he didn't play the guitar, he played it on the piano. Oh wow! But it sounded like a guitar. Oh wow! But he really played it on the piano. Wow! So I said, "Can you just make it sound like a guitar?" Mm -hmm. He like, "Yeah." I said, "Damn, this is it. I'm out of here. It's gone." So you already knew you was out of here before you. Even yeah, played. I did. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I did. Like when I heard the song, I said, "It's a hit. It's gone. People want to love it. It sound passionate. Um, every girl want to be worth it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I was saying real life stuff. Yeah. And, um." And yeah, I said it's going. It's out of here, man. I'm proud of you, man. I'm super. I'm so excited for your journey. So you work with a lot of who? What's some people that you work with on your journey? Um, music wise. Yeah, music wise. Um, I work. We're gonna Ch get to the business too. But Ch music wise, Chess the rapper, um, right. the baby. Um, I did a I did a couple songs, man. With a lot of people, I did um, um, Jeremiah, um. Um, who else? Um, Gucci man, I did a song. I did songs with a lot of people. So when you met all these different people and you did songs with those, who was the most impactful person and what'd you learn from with those people that you work with? Um, the the best person that I had that I feel that was more impactful to me, that was very, very um that was um a great song was Lecrae Le Lecrae. Lecrae. Yeah. We did a song called Set Me Free. Okay. And I love that song a lot because <clears throat> it reminded me like it was it's very like it's impactful. It's fire, mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> and he's he's very a good person, like he's a good hearted person. Wow. You know, um and I just love I love his energy. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's what you learn from him? Like what'd you learn from doing songs with him? Um, he just <clears throat> he think about he just thinks about 
trying to do a song with the for the world. Wow. You know what I mean? And he he um he um he put a little funk to it. It's called Set Me Free. Wow. Um take the shackles off my feet. Like he's like he's speaking like some real life stuff, man. And I was like, man, like he he have a big mind. You know yeah. what I mean? And I like that. And he's and, and he's young. He been in the game before me, but I like his music and I think he's dope. And yeah, I never told him that. Yeah. But I'm on your podcast. I'm telling you that now if you're watching this. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be watching this. Biggest podcast in the world. So I want to talk about something, right? Um, we're going to get to the relationships. We're going to get to all that. All right. So when you made your money, what what business deal did you invest in? Nothing. You didn't invest in no business or anything? Um. Um. No, I had. I, I think I had. No, yeah, I, I got. I got like three houses, three okay. four houses. Nice. Um, but they were like they was like 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 twenty thousand, thirty thousand. You okay. know what I mean? Like investment properties that okay. I just flip. Okay. But I never invested in something like heavy, like like okay. you know, I never did that. Like okay. I always invested like small stuff. Oh, Why I, you think you never did that? Because you was young. I mean, you was eighteen years old. I mean, I made my first million when I was twenty one. So. Being 18 years old and making and having a million dollars deposit, I, like if I was 18 years old and I had a million dollar deposit, that shit would have been gone in one week. <laughs> to be honest, no guidance. That's what it was. <laughs> you know, I'm, I know. Six months is even a lot. Shit, it, or, or, yeah, a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, six months is even a lot. Um, <laughs> you know, I would have blew that in one week. I would have um, been at all the script clubs. I would have told all my boys from high school, yo, we lit. <laughs> um, I had. It, six months is not long, but it is long. Yeah. Like it's it's like it's it's not, but it is. But a million dollars is a it's not really a lot of money if you really it's think about it. It's not a lot of money. It's really not a lot of money, yeah, bro. Not. Because taxes take four hundred out all yeah. way, off the rip. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I gotta hook you up, my boy Carter. Carter is a CPA. He's gonna hook you let's up. Let's do it. Hook me Number up. One with him. CPA in the game. Hook me up with him. I can't wait. Yeah, I got you. I got you. But then you blew, you blew, you blew all that, man. Which is which is good. It's not bad. Like, you don't want to look at those. Because when you're young, you're supposed to experience things like that. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't know how to blow a million dollars, you don't know how to keep a million dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think it's okay for you to blow money. So when you're moving up in life, you can be able to know how to keep those money when you get it at that stage. For sure. So what's your relationship status looking like? Um, I'm, I'm single. You single? Yeah, I'm single. So, like, you single. Now you single. What do you think about, like, like... A whole bunch of women, like what, like what, what's making you single? Like you feel like you haven't found the right one. Um, I just think I haven't really figured out the time to give to that woman yet. You yeah, know what I mean, like I think my time is very valuable, and I think um, I haven't found my significant other mm -hmm. to give that to. Okay, you know? so um, and that and that and that's what it is. My time is very valuable. My time is very like I love my time. Yeah, I, I be on time with everything. I'm I'm very like punctual yeah like so it's like if i'm gonna give my time to a woman to somebody like it gotta be like she gotta be worth it, it you gotta be worth it you have to because you like i'm i'm a lot to deal with yeah. you know what i mean and what you mean you a lot to deal with you know a lot of ladies watching you know you might have your future wife in the comments <laughs> i mean so i ain't gonna sound <laughs> bad I'm, i don't say it's bad but i'm just like a lot to deal with on the other hand it's like um i am i am um a celebrity, you yeah. know what I mean. So it's a lot, a lot, I go, a lot of stuff that I do go through. A lot of women come through your life. A lot, a lot of people that come through my so life. How do you, how do you, how do you stop when you know there's a lot of women come through your life because they see you lit. You know, you lit. You on social media. You got the number one hit record. People come through your life. Like, how do you stop? How do you know the best woman from the one who's just trying to leech onto you? <clears throat> it's hard, bro. I still don't know. I don't know. I think I just go by the energy, mm -hmm. and I just think the more time I spend with you, the more time, the the more thing, the more I get to see who you are. Yeah. So, um, like though your energy, like the first time I see you is your first impression. Yeah. So the more I spend with you, time after time, the more mm -hmm. I want to see what type of woman you are. What type of woman do you like? Man, I like a woman that, like I, I like I love a traditional woman, a traditional so a woman okay. a woman that can cook. A woman that can clean, a woman that can tell me about my business or what I need to do or what I don't need to do. It's a woman that can put me in my place, mm -hmm. that can have a little pants on, you yeah. know what I mean? That can put me in my place and tell me, hey, no, you need to do this. Why are you doing that? Why are you buying that $300,000 number when you don't need to buy it? Yeah. 
I want a woman like that. That's what I want. I don't want a woman that will not tell me that or, or let me do what I want to do. I don't like that. So that's valid. That's valid. A woman should always have her input in any. If you're in yeah. any relationship, your woman should always have her input. I think. I think it's. I think it's lovely to be able to go to your woman and, and tell her, "Babe, I want to make a five hundred thousand dollar purchase. What you think about it?" Mm-hmm. And she tell you, "This is what it is." Yeah. Because yeah. she looking at the finances. You know, us men, like we spend money. You know, because we like to have a good time. But women love security. I, so I, a I, woman gonna be like, "Yo, maybe you don't need to do this right yeah, now." Because she 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 want to protect what y'all have at home. For sure. You know? I always say a woman, yo, your woman is like your third eye. Yeah. I always say that. Like, they always see, like, your friends, your money. They always see, yeah. like, what's really behind. Like That's what, how my girl be. Like, hold on. Who you, who you hanging with? Why are you spending that money for? Oh, okay, bet. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? Like, you want multiple women or you want one woman? <clears throat> <laughs> one. I can't do multiple. You can't do multiple? No, bro. I can't do that. You can't? I, you don't no. want a threesome? <laughs> no. I, I'm not a threesome type of guy. Okay. Like, a lot of women have wanted me to do that. I just can't do it because um, I'm very intimate. Yeah. So, so um, when I'm with one woman, I can, I, I'm going to be focused on that one woman. I don't, I, I can't do three women because, like, you know, I don't want to be giving my energy to three women at the same time. Uh-huh. Like, I got to give my soul to one woman and I want you to feel every soul in my body so now since you know that you know exactly who you want you want an educated woman a woman who's going to be able to help you get correct so you know cyrus looking for somebody y'all in the comments y'all make sure y'all comment hey, me. Yeah. you know <laughs> comment me in the chat he's going to be he's going to be he's going to be paying attention and he's going to be able to actually see you. he's going to be looking out for sure so man let's 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 go back man so what's what are your mom and like you have your parents in your life um, my mom and my dad, yes. Your mom and your dad? Yes. So they're, they're together or they're separated? They're separated. they separate. So like, how did your dad react to your success <clears throat> and your mom reacted? How did they react? I ain't gonna lie, my dad's my biggest fan. He already knew. He always tell me, you're the biggest star in the world. He always tell me, you're gonna make it. Mm-hmm. He was behind me since day one. So um, he was my biggest fan. My mama, she in the church. So she loved my music, but she really was like in the back scene. Like, yeah, she okay, son, go do that. I love, I love it. All right, go to the studio. I'm going to church yeah. type. Type of thing. My dad was like, "Where you at, man? You yeah. ain't been in the studio. Yeah. Like, what you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? So he was my number one fan. So your dad supported you, right? And your mom was basically in the background, right? And she was there. She was like, "Oh man, I want to see." You. She supported you from afar. Yes, sir. So now, uh, when you said you have how many sisters? Six. Six sisters yeah. and brother. I'm the only boy. You're the only boy. I'm the six sisters. I'm the only boy. Wow. So you all know how that was. No, was you the youngest boy? I'm the oldest. You the oldest? You the oldest? Yeah. Oh, you have a lot of responsibility. Oh, yeah. yeah, ain't no game. How many people do you take care of right now? Um, like, like eight. Wow. Eight, eight people. Wow. So how? What is the resp- Like, how's that responsibility having so much weight on your shoulders? You know. Um, my dad always told me, man, you a boss. You a leader. Yeah. So things come with being a leader and a boss. Mm-hmm. So I won't complain. I just do it. Like yeah. I, I just I just I just do it. And it gonna get to a point that I do um I, I'm I'm able to put them in a position that they don't never have to work again. Mm-hmm. Never have to work again. Yeah. And um um it just I feel like this me being a boss and who I am, that's a part of my job. Yeah. And I mean that's a part of my journey. So I don't never complain. When my mom needs something, done. When my sister needs done. Because it's like, I am the boss. I am the I am the leader. Yep. I am the head honcho. Yep. You know, and when you were head honcho, it comes with certain things. Yep. And you know, you got to deal with it. And you so young too, having all that, all that responsibility. That's really good because you so young can that responsibility as you grow older. One thing that I do with my family, I like to make my family self sufficient. Like I, when I first started making money on like online and stuff. A lot of my family used to depend on me. So what I what I started doing to actually stop that, I had to say, hey, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with your life? And then kind of help them any way I can. Hey, you want this? Okay, go do this business. Go do this. Go do this. Whoever messed up, that's you. I tried. So the thing about it, when you with family, because family can have this entitlement issue. Yeah. They feel like they're entitled because you are that. You're the family member. You're the breadwinner. Yeah. So they feel entitled. So what I do is basically I just 
hey, I give you opportunity. Whoever rocks with it, whoever do it and move on, great job. But all of them know that I, I at least tried. Yes, sir. I think that's the best way to do because you don't want, you can't stop your future because of your family. Sure. You can never stop your future or where, where you want to be in life because of a family member because you feel like you have to lift this family member up. Mm -hmm. You don't want to ever do that. That that will hold 90% of people back. They're always trying to help their family member and stuff like that. You got to stay on the path. Yes, sir. Because the path is where you're going to meet different people on. Right. Like when you when you're when you're a whole around a whole bunch of family members all leeching on you, it's gonna distract you. You're gonna feel like, oh, I can't make this move because I gotta help this family member. I gotta help this person do this X, Y, and Z. For sure. So sometimes it's okay to get away from your family. Like with me, I had to get away from my family for two years. Two years because I had to focus on me. But if I wouldn't have done that, I would have I would have been backwards because I because as you have a really good heart. Right. We can feel that from your music. So having a good heart, you want to help any shape way you can. Right. Sometimes you got to block people and, and focus on you because when you have a good heart, it's going to hold you back. No, for sure. You know? So when you was your family and stuff like that, I want to, I want to, what's the biggest thing? Like, what was your biggest purchase when you first made, got your first million dollars? What was the biggest purchase you had? Um, what jewelry did you get? Any jewelry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, spent, I spent like two hundred thousand dollars on jewelry. Wow. Um, I got me a watch. I got an AP. I got two APs. Nice. I got like three chains. I spent like two hundred. Nice. Two hundred thousand. So, and um, um, I had got my earrings. My earrings like a hundred. Nice. Yeah. Nice. What jeweler did you use? Let's give a shout um, out to the jeweler. Who, uh, who, who the jeweler? Who, who jeweler was? That was um Alex. Alex. Alex, yeah, Alex. Shout out to Alex. In Houston. Alex got the bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got me when I first started. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man. You know, a lot of people, when we first start, we feel like the way how we can be, we can be able to maintain our status is by getting a watch. Like I was telling you prior to the interview, I didn't buy my first car, the McLaren, until I was like 27 last year. I made my first million when I was 21, but I didn't buy anything. Everything I ever made was investment. I never looked at money like it was mine. I looked at it was people money that I had to use that for them because they gave me that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I felt it's like great, it was all the people money. It's a great way of thinking. Yeah, I had I had to use the money to be able to put myself and keep keep going in life because they invested in me, and I the only way I can do is invest that money in my future because they're looking up to my future for sure. So you made the you got the watch and every single thing. You asked me a question. You was like, "What was the question you asked me?" Um, uh, do you do you like playing Jane? Do you got watches? Yeah. So the 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 my first purchase I ever got was a Patek Philippe. The reason why I got the Patek Philippe because I used to see one of my favorite guys. He used to wear a Patek Philippe, and I was like, "What's that watch?" And I saw him wearing the watch, but I actually gave the watch away. I actually gave it was fifty thousand dollars. That watch is worth one hundred and eighty thousand, like one hundred and eighty thousand dollars now. You gave it away. I gave it away to who? In Africa, I was because I made an investment in Africa and I bought a whole bunch of trucks. So what ended up happening was that when I was going to like these palm oils, there was a lot of people in the village, and I just the watch actually got cracked because of some shit that happened. But I ended up giving it away to this lady. I bet she don't even know what it's worth. That's crazy. But you know, I just gave it away because I felt like, okay, let me give this to somebody else. So what watches you got now? What watch I got now? I got the Patek Philippe. I got the what's my call? I got the Hublot. I got the Hublot. I got the Cartier. I got some Cartier, and I have uh, what's my call it? Uh, AP. AP. I like APs. Yeah, AP is cool. But the thing about it, I never was a materialistic type of guy. Yeah. The materials was things that I did just because I felt like my friends had it. It wasn't really because yeah. of, I was a part of me. Right. It was just because like, oh, my friend got this. Okay, cool. Let me just wear it. Let me just get a watch. It, like, I made more money than the watch. I couldn't, like, wa buying a watch was a secondary. It was like a toy. Yeah. It was like me spending a little bit of money on just trying to impress my friend. It wasn't really anything because I delayed gratification. For sure. Like, I like I could afford a watch when I first made my first million, but I, right. I now my friends... One of my boy, he just bought a hundred thousand. Uh, I had a Richard Milley too. I ended up selling my the. I ended up, I ended up giving back my Richard Milley because what ended up happening? The guy sold me a fake Richard Milley. 
Because you know the rich and milly, you can't really tell. So what ended up happening, because I was new to the industry. So when I was new to the whole jewelry thing, I bought this rich and milly, and then rich and milly was fake. So he ended up giving my honey some K back. And then I, I just, I was like, I don't want it. Because I ended up finding out it was a fake watch. It's crazy. That's what happens in the jewelry, man. In the jewelry industry and all of that, a lot of guys will get you because you don't know. Right. For sure. Yes. So for all the fans out there, everybody, make sure you watch out for the watch that you're buying. You know, a lot of these watches, you don't know if it's fake or it's real. It's crazy. So what's the future looking like with you, man? Um, I think my future, man, is I'm still trying to figure it out, bro, to be honest, but um, I think my future, man. I want to help. I want to help the world. I want to. I want to. I want to help the way. I want to do the best I can to help the world. And these kids, they need help. You know what yeah. I mean? A lot of so kids. So a lot of your fans are kids. Yeah, kids. What's the age group? Like, what you say? Um, I say like. 14, I think they're growing 14, now. Yeah, fourteen. Well, I still like 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, because they're growing. And they now, go up so to like 25, 26. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. That's that's amazing because a lot of people, because I heard your song years ago. Yeah. And, you know, I loved your song. Right. It was a really good song. Right. So I think your age group is probably like around 26 now because yeah. people are growing. Like now. like 20. Yeah. 19. 19, like, 20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. So what's some things that you're interested in doing? What's big for you? Like what's big for your future? Um, I just want to open shelter homes. I want to open. I want to. I want, I want to go to Africa. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna take you to Africa. I want to go there. We got this on the interview. Yeah. I'm gonna take you. I want to. That's you'll, that'd be my first time going. You, you, what's up? What's up with the Afro beats? You gonna do some Afro beats song? Yeah, I want to do an Afro beat. I'm gonna do one, and I'm gonna do it in Africa. Who's your favorite Afro beat artist? Um, Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Yeah. Why you like Burner Boy? He's so cool, man. He, he he's. I, I met him. I met him the first time. The first time I met him, man, he was so genuine, cool. Like he is, he, he's fire. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, um, um, he showed me love. Like wow. so, like where'd you meet him at? Where'd y'all meet? In L.A. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was, it was some um some party. Wow. And we he was cool. You know, he was wow. kicking it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he he just a humble person. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's very he's very like to himself. And yeah. I like Wiz Kid too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta introduce you to the Wiz. What's up with you don't like what's what's up with Rema? Rema, Rema hard. Rema baby. You gotta hard. you gotta check out Jay Ceno. Jay Ceno's coming up. It's a lot of Afro it's a lot so of so many Afrobeats yeah. artists, man. It's like every day there's a new Afrobeats artist. Yeah. We got art coming up. He's like a big Afrobeats artist yeah. too. Crazy. Yeah, he's like he's his I heard his track like he was like he's like he got that soul. That's music. crazy. He ain't playing for me. Yeah, okay. we gonna play it for you, man. We gonna we gonna we gonna put art in there. We gonna we gonna play some art song. You know, I'm I'm gonna vibe you out, but he's hot. All right, man. He's coming out too, y'all. I think y'all need to do a song together. Man, I'm with whatever. I'm with whatever. Yeah, man. So, man. So you go. You now. You want to feed the homeless. You want to do all those things. Uh, what business venture are you trying to get into moving forward? Like, what's some business thing you're thinking about? Um. Um, definitely, definitely, um, skyscrapers. Okay. You want to do I mean, some, you want to do some high rise? Yeah. Building? High rise buildings. I want to nice. do commercial buildings. Nice. Know? I want to, um, I want to, um, I want to, um, own a lot of like land, like concrete. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Do you know how to like get started in those things? No. So like a lot of these, I, I, like I, I'm building a high rise building in Liberia. It's not really, it's like not 10 stories. It's 10 stories, like a hotel slash, right. uh, us condos right so like you got to partner up with different developers and stuff like that right. but like if you're in america you know america got a lot of commercial loans right so you can like america's all about credit leveraging other opm other people money like OPM. you said at the start so you can leverage a lot of these different people money and stuff like that to be able to own these a lot of people look at when you got a what a hundred million dollars uh building they only got to put like 20 percent down for that loan you know so like you can do that you know Partner up with some friends, partner up with some group of people, and you will be able to achieve those things. People just think those things are so far fetched. That's why I love to travel, man. Because when you travel, you get to see how things are so realistic. Because you go to a different country and you see they accomplish this thing. People your age were only five million. Yes, sir. And then you get to see, oh wow, this person did this for only five million. This person did this for only this. Oh wow, I can do this myself right. in the states. And then when you come back to the states, you see, oh wow, these guys are only using loans 
to achieve this so now you can be able to do that that's the thing i love about traveling what's the best place you travel to um there was some what some places you traveled to on your journey because a lot of a, a lot of guys like little baby I, I don't know these guys just started traveling i don't think they like traveling like that yeah i, don't, I ain't never traveled nowhere big like that i went to jamaica that was jamaica? cool i like jamaica but i want, I want to travel more i, I like i want to travel way more where's some places you want to go to i want to go to I want to go to Africa, man. I want to go to Africa. What part of Africa you want to go to? You got to go to West Africa. Wherever the best part is, I want to go. You got to go to West Africa. I want to go out there. I think that's. I think it's later. I want to go to um, London. Yeah. I want to go to. Um, I want to go to Bali. Okay. I want to go to. Um, you got uh, your passport? Yeah, I got my passport. Okay, you lit then. So I, I want. I want to go to a lot of places. I'm just trying to, you know, it's coming. Yeah, I always tell my girl. She she like when we first got together, she always wanted to travel, and I was like, babe, I see. Traveling is down the street. It's a flight away. Right. <laughs> it's not anything. For sure. So, like, you, you definitely going to be able to travel all these different places. I'm glad that you have these aspirations because you're so young. A lot of people don't realize you're only 23 years old. Yeah. Like, you have so much life ahead of you, and you don't want to put so much pressure on you because as you move forward in life, you're only going to become better. Facts. Every law, everything that you, that you got, that you had in the past was just in the past. It's not the future for you. For sure, for you know? Sure. So what's some things you want to tell these guys? What's some big things you have coming up? What's some new songs that you have coming up that you want to tell these guys to tune into? Man, to be honest, man, I got some, like my, my music, man, I've been in a great mind space lately. I got some some very impactful music, man. My music is just, man, Picasso's, man. Like, Art, man, it's, it's like, it's crazy. My tone different, my tone elevating, my music elevating. My whole my whole thing is elevating and I can't wait to show it because um, is, is it- is So lit. the new song you just played for us. Yeah. So has is that out yet? Not yet. Not, so oh, not, can we can we can we play it or nah? Nah, nah, not nah, yet. Yeah, nah, yeah. You guys, you guys. Y'all go, y'all go, y'all go get their fans though. Their fans, you know, I just dropped that um like a month ago. So let's let's play that. Let's play that. What's I want I want to hear you. Do you you can sing that for us tonight. <laughs> let's 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 get a little performance, man. Let's get a little. <laughs> she said, uh, 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 I say, uh, so, uh, survivors get but I'm still drowning. Mm. Lift everybody up, but they still doubt me. Mm. Fake niggas always come around me. Mm. Hate feeling lonely, but I like to be alone. I go home, but then my home don't feel like home no more. They throwing stones within them stones. I just wanna get some money. I just wanna feed my family. I don't even get offended when these niggas come and die me, come and climb me, come around me, but they really not my friend. Got me all up in my feelings, got me crying on the ground. Cause I thought that they was fam, transparent with the fans. Yeah, I know it's God's plan. What it like to be a man? They don't understand who ride for me it's hard to see it's got a hold on me but i think it's time to keep it real <laughs> that's hard yeah, come on, man. Come on. we gotta clap for that 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 we gotta clap 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 you spell you, you you know you speak you specialist man so i got you man you know i don't really do that for anybody but for you i got you thank you my brother thank you my brother we had an amazing interview today with my brother Osiris, man. He taught us a lot about different things. He dropped some wisdom for you guys. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please do. He dropped a lot of the, his the biggest podcast in the world. Bro. And a great man. And a great man. You know, when I first met when I first met him, man, you know, um, when I first met you and I and I saw your energy, man, it's pure. And yeah. I love that about you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, you know, the best advice I can give the audience out there is, man. You know, walk with love, walk with joy. Don't keep your head down, cause somebody see you keep your head down, then you know if the sky falling, what you gonna do? You gotta keep you keep it up, man. When I saw him, his energy was so up and 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 and, and pure, and I love that about you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir, bro. Thank you for being on the interview, brother. Yes, sir. Toast Cheers. to the journey. Toast. Mm. Running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff.